They don't need smartphones or even bank accounts. These are dairy farmers in central Kenya. They supply milk to one of the country's dairy companies. After delivery, they have to wait at least a month to get paid. But for the first time, the farmers, many with less than five cows, are able to get loans against their milk deliveries using their mobile phones. It's through a phone application designed by two entrepreneurs. What we wanted to do is to say, could we take it a step further and say, now could we look at the smallest individual, smallest business level, one single farmer, could we potentially advance the farmer against his business's earnings? Here's how it works. The farmer applies for a loan through a text message with the amount needed. This message goes to a data system run by Umati Capital. Once approved, the money is sent to the farmer in less than two days. The interest rate charged is the same as conventional banks. Farmers with few animals and crops find it very difficult to access loans from banks and other mobile banking networks. Security is often needed, and the farmer does not have that collateral. Grace Nyambura has five cows that produce about 25 liters of milk a day. She has just applied for a loan of $100 to buy hay and medicine. Because the milk company takes so long to pay us, I normally end up selling some of my milk very cheaply at the market. The cash helps me to take care of my animals and family until I get paid for what I delivered to the company. More than 18 million people in Kenya and Tanzania use their mobile phones to do banking transactions. The mobile banking revolution that started in Kenya has opened the door to a whole new generation of customers whose very first bank account is accessed purely through their phones. This man says that the phone loan service is just another step in the revolution. Uh, most of the corps we've gone to talk to have been turned away by all banks simply because they're way too small, they don't have collateral, and their asset base is just near zero. What we're able to do is uh, welcome them on board. So here in a field in rural Kenya, farmers take down the crucial details that will help secure them loans. It's another first here, a platform that they hope will help make their lives a little better. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nyandara, Central Kenya.